So the Charlotte Harbor Lab started in 1989 when FWI's Fisheries Independent Monitoring Program expanded south out of Tampa Bay. It started with just a couple of employees looking to expand their survey of juvenile fish populations and has grown into a solid long-term monitoring program of juvenile and adult sport fish and the associated fish communities. This field lab now houses roughly 25 to 30 FWRI staff, including us, the Fisheries Independent Monitoring Program. The marine mammal biologists here, led by Denise Boyd, conduct manatee, dolphin, and whale research, rescue, and carcass salvage efforts in Southwest Florida. And the Fisheries Dependent Monitoring Program here includes the dockside samplers who survey the recreational fisheries. So this lab is centrally located in Port Charlotte. Our fisheries group conducts field work throughout the entire estuary, which is fed from two main rivers, the Peace River to the east and the Mayaca River on the northwest, and they meet to form Charlotte Harbor, which then connects out to the Gulf of Mexico. We have several different projects. One of them is partnering with the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program to look at water quality throughout the harbor. And we're also tracking movement of the endangered small tooth sawfish, mainly the juveniles that use this area for nursery habitat. And we have an over 20 year long-term data set for inshore sport fish monitoring. So we're able to sample fish throughout the estuary with several different sandrise gears, including trawls and two different sizes of sand nets. And Charlotte Harbor is a very unique estuary with a lot of natural and preserved habitat. There's a variety of habitats here, including seagrass beds, mangrove shorelines, tidal tributaries and creeks, and oyster beds. And by using multiple gear types, we can sample from a variety of habitats and fully capture how the fisheries are doing in this area.